All right. Uh, you guys ready to do your thing? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Was that boob slap? A boob slap of 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 readiness? Yes. Okay. Okay. You guys can sit over here. And move. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of D and D. Deanna and Destiny's podcast about whatever the fuck they want it to be about. Stop sh podcast shaming them. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I thought you were better than that. Apparently I was wrong. And without further ado, Deanna and Destiny. Thank you, Steve, for that wonderful opening. You're welcome. What's that thing we heard the homeless lady say on her bike? Um... Philip was a Philip was a goddamn pot scrubber. Is a fucking pot scrubber. Philip's a pot scrubber. Philip's a pot scrubber. I don't know who Philip is. I don't know who the lady that rode by us on her bikes is, but she yelled, Philip is a fucking pot scrubber. She said and Philip is a fucking pot scrubber. I wanna know what preceded that. So I have no idea what came before. But I'd like to know. I would very much like to know. So as I was sitting at my desk at my job, having an all-day anxiety attack, I tried to busy myself with writing down some lists of stuff that we should talk about on podcast. And all I could come up with was the fact that April 18th, the whole conspiracy, it never happened. Nothing. No aliens. Not a damn thing happened. Well, some things did happen. No, uh, on April 18th. Um... I, I, like I said last time, what? hinged my bets on aliens. Yeah, definitely aliens. And was sorely disappointed. Now, here's a couple things that did happen on April 18th. Um, it was Adult Autism Awareness Day. Mm. On April 18th, of 2018. Um, you know there's a large statistic of autistic children, um, their biggest... Death is by drowning. Huh. Yeah, uh, that statistic isn't quite true. Because their biggest death is by drowning, by being drowned by their parents who didn't want to deal with an autistic child. I was about to say, is there a clarifying fact to that? That's and that is milk. actually the truth. Are you drinking milk? Why is it in that bottle? Ask my dad. He brought over like a bunch of them. Made me bring over a bunch of them. That's really weird. <laughs> is that a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle st st stickle sticker? No, it's a cow. Teenage Mutant Ninja Stickle. <laughs> Shut up. Um, another thing that happened um on April 18th is the sun rose and set like normal. Project, my child. Sorry, I, I'm I have anxiety. I know, but we need to be a little bit louder for this all to get caught. Especially if we want to be louder than this fucking gremlin. Oh, another thing, um, a lot of jobs now, places of business, are discussing allowing their employees to bring animals to work, like support animals. If you have a therapist, and I'm going to tell you this right now, if you have a therapist, and the therapist says that you would benefit from having um, a support animal, and write you a letter, you can get that animal registered as long as it has the proper training, and your job cannot stop you. Really? Yes. I have a dog on my desk. I as long as it has the proper training to be a support animal. Okay, I oh, was not going to do that. That's all the question. Myth would. Um, she just sit on my feet. Mm -hmm. Something else that April 18th, Donald Trump uh, was still president on April 18th. Unfortunate. Um, many more important meetings between the U.S. and Korea. Interesting. Yeah, that's about it. It's all of April 18th? Yep. Right on. Right fucking on. No aliens. Disappointment. Just disappointment all around, Just really. Just a regular Wednesday. <laughs> Good old hump day. Good old hump day. No humping happened on April 18th. Uh, to you. You're right. I also didn't. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, somebody somewhere did. Somebody had sex. Congratulations to them, because it wasn't me. At least one person or animal had sex somewhere. Today we're going to talk about anxiety. 
Whoop de do. Philip, because it's all I can think about is my anxiety. And I've been Googling just all kinds of stuff today about heart palpitations and shortness of breath and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just scaring the shit out of myself for no reason, just because. Why do I gotta do that? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> tell me more. I'm sorry. I have to. And what really sucks is like when you have those issues and you have to explain it to your family. They don't believe you. And your, don't have to suffer from that. And your husband who's just like, what do you want me to do about it? Fix me. And Steve gives me a fake frown like he thinks I'm 100%. fucking joking, like I'm just... I'm not! No, he would never... Steve suffers from anxiety. Why would he give you... Yeah, no, that was like one of the most genuine faces I've ever seen Steve make, like, like, actually. There's absolutely no way yeah. Steve could doubt other people's anxiety. But I just don't know how to deal with it, and I've tried everything. Mm-hmm. Matt, however, is a spoiled little brat, and he thinks people don't suffer from shit. That's who. You. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Matt used to have really bad manic issues. I want to see his degree in psychology. He's actually considering majoring that, which is a huge mistake. Ah. But, yeah, um, and I don't know how to deal with it. And I've read all the tips and tricks. I've tried weed, I've tried supplements. Tried tea, not caffeine tea, because that gives me anxiety. I can't eat apples anymore because somebody said it gives them anxiety, so now I'm gonna think it gives me anxiety. Huh. Nope, because I'll have an anxiety attack. Anxiety attack. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Being in a car gives me anxiety because I don't have a way to leave in case I have an anxiety attack. I'm going crazy, and I want. But you and I drive around when you have an anxiety attack. That's different. I'm talking like on the highway driving. Oh. I get it. I can't sing anymore without getting a heart heart attack, an anxiety attack, and that's. I love singing. Um, I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't do anything. Play some wicked Mario Kart though. Oh man, I am so good at Mario Kart. That's my outlet. I sit, I cry, I listen to Christian music and play Mario Kart. And that's so, so Christian makes music? Yeah, he comes and sings to you. <laughs> no, no. Aww. He sings to you. He sings to you uh, just just the little mermaid song. Just yeah. under the sea over and That's over. the only one, yeah, that's all he knows. <laughs> no, no, like actual factual Christian. He sings a nickel back to you soothingly. <laughs> My best friend <laughs> Christian has admitted to me that he unironically loves Nickelback and always has. Me. So when the songs come on the radio, he's quiet all the time until Nickelback is on, and then he suddenly busts out <laughs> and like passionate. Look at his photograph! I've never heard him sing more passionately and more sure of himself. <laughs> God. Haley's Comet Jubilee! It's, it's, it's Nickelback, uh, it's Nickelback, what's the word? Quarterback. No, 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 it's, um, quarterback. This is the opposite of Nickelback. Go team! No, when it kind of has a connection. <laughs> Epiphany? Cool, well, never mind. Epiphany. Apostrophe. What are you talking about? So what are you trying to describe? You know when something adjacent, it's Nickelback adjacent. <laughs> Fuck you. Nickel adjacent. Is that a is that a religion? Adjacent back. <laughs> then you better not fucking use milk. Drink it. I'm not mean. You're wasteful. I have to I'm not milk. wasteful. You're pouring the milk. Milk gives me shits and makes me throw up. Then don't eat cereal. Or use less milk in your cereal. The Christian usually drinks it for me, but he's not here. Well, then you need to regulate your milk. My dad doesn't make me drink the milk. I'm not your fucking dad. You're a horrible monster. No, I'm not a horrible monster. I've 
resource it. Do you want this milk? Oh, fuck no. You have like drinking. three whole jugs. <laughs> okay, I know. Mean, the point. You're holding one. <laughs> when I'm drinking it, though, no, aren't I? I'm not wasting it. I don't like milk. You mean anxiety is something to me. I almost snorted. Is that good milk? Drink it, you fucking cunt. <sighs> Where's Christian? <laughs> I gotta go home. Bella, it reappeared. I hope they can hear the sounds you slurping. <laughs> Bella, Bella, do you like milk? Bella, come drink this milk for me. Do me a solid. <laughs> Nobody wants to drink Ask the milk. Ask the baby. Ask the baby. Oh. <laughs> Eleanor, do you want milk? She's uh, really quiet. Hey, she loves milk. She loves milk. Nup. She loves milk. Nup. Oh, much milk. The baby's. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't. The baby had a sip of my milk. She'll come back for it. She calls it nup, so if she asks, she's for nup. Nup. Hey, Eleanor. Don't let her. Don't let her regulate that though, because she's going to spill it everywhere, and it's going to be your fault. Get her a straw. Sounds good. <laughs> That way you have it for next time. You want notes. This episode's fucking a disaster. What the fuck? What is a disaster? What? No, she is just taking that. She asked for the spoon. I thought she could use a spoon. She can, but not with just fucking milk. I'm here two days. Is a disaster a monster? I'm here two days a week. (laughs) Disaster a monster? You said it's a it's fucking disaster. Podcast is fucking. I, just, I want to know what's a monster I can fuck. I'm a monster. Okay, so. And I'm also a disaster. <laughs> so you want your aunt to fuck you? No! <laughs> what? Stop it! No! 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 <laughs> Destiny, do the no that you do whenever I do something to us. <laughs> It's my favorite Still no. Palpitation. <laughs> I like nudge him over a little while he's sleeping, and she's like, no. <laughs> and I just wear my story. favorite. My friend was no. <laughs> my friend was <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for that. My friend lives in New York, and she was in Barnes and Noble, and she'd overheard somebody halfway across the store say, "Hey, look, honey." This book has monster fucking in it. So from a halfway across the store, she was like, what? Where? <laughs> That's funny. Yes! Yeah. My people. Wants, Eleanor wants a spoon. What? No, you're not getting a spoon. I found a book about lesbian mermaids. Yeah, she was pretty sure it was shaped of water. One single that I want to Well, it's a lesbian mermaid okay, with so um, to drink your milk. A, a native people's from an ice place. I'm not sure which native people's. Sakura. What? No. Sakura the restaurant? And, um, I don't want to accidentally say a slur. Steve is literally scratching his asshole right now. Because I can't remember. Oh, yeah! I can't remember at the moment what's okay to say and what's not. Yeah. Your cap is a little Steve is trying really hard to be politically correct. My thigh? That's not your thigh. That's well, not shirt. now. I moved to a different part of the body. It's your glorious uh, asshole <laughs> Uh Oh, I drank the milk, sweetheart. Oh, damn it, I gave her a straw to everything. I'm so sorry. That is so hey. It's okay. You go get your nut. Go find your nut. I love you. Thank you for trying. She was trying to support you and everything. She, she's the only one Here, let me dip this saliva. <laughs> Let me dip the saliva coated spoon into this milk. It's all warm, tastes like cereal, and has my spit in it. You want it? <laughs> right? This is the one that's like, yeah, it's really good. That was really good. That was really good. Well, it was really good. Christian's like, yeah, spit, in, <laughs> spit in my mouth. <laughs> Pee on me. Slurp the milk up and then dribble it into my mouth. <laughs> Feed me like a mama bird feeds its <laughs> baby. Yeah, I really need you guys to stop. <laughs> Christian hit me. In the face. Sexually. Sexually. No. Oh, cons- it was bitch, con- no, you gotta, you gotta preface it. It was consensual. I wanted to see what your reaction would be first. <laughs> before I said, I saw her reaction. Consensually. <laughs> I didn't even see your face. It went cold. <laughs> the air around became... You think I'd let hit- Christian fucking hit me? I 
beat the oh, shit I out of that you. guy if he even got close to trying to hit me. Oh, you're gorgeous. I'm gonna sew up that slit though so that it's past the nope. thingy. Nope. I don't want my my under room. My clip goes out. Your underwear. <laughs> well, no, it's it's the it's like a slip, but it's not. It's Hashtag all, my lady of like, flapping in the wind. <laughs> yeah. I remember. Thank you. Like a pair of horse slips. <laughs> oh, so my my <laughs> horse what? lips. My <laughs> horse lips. My the, me. The top of my horse lip is a, my horse's top lip is a little bit longer than my horse's bottom lip. And by a little, I mean a lot. <laughs> She drew a dagger and pulled the one. It's like I don't have you know, on one you know, <laughs> you know when you have a hoodie, a mile long. you know when you have a hoodie with a pull string. Yes, style? one of the strings is really long and the other's really short, and like almost up in the hole. <laughs> yep. Okay, then. What are you doing, sweetie pie? That's that's Destiny's lady. No, your your milk is in the. That's her lips. Hoodie. That's her vaginal lips. <laughs> what are we What are we talking about again? Uh, I think we were supposed to talk about anxiety, but yep. we got really off track. Because I cried over the milk, non-spilled milk. I I, I think milk. that for a future episode, you may want to consider uh, an interview with Destiny's Labia. Oh, Destiny, pop it out right now. We'll do it. Here she is. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? An Here's... interview with Destiny's Labia. Oh, fuck yeah. Come on, Come here on, is uh, Laura, Laura the labia. <laughs> Ask Laura a question, she answers. Hi, Laura. Um, how's it like down there? <laughs> moist? Is it real moist? Or is it dry? I gotta know. If I have anxiety, does my labia have anxiety? Um, uh, it's a chemical. It's a chemical. I think it's a chemical thing in your brain. So probably not. So probably not. Anxiety? Yeah. Yeah. No. No? No. I'm wrong. No, anxiety is not a chemical thing. But however, there's I'm a wrong. chemical and physiological reaction to the psychological anxiety. <laughs> there's a chemical that says, oh no. <laughs> no, it's not like it's not like fear with cortisol. There's like, the heart palpitation, the, the trouble breathing, the trouble sleeping, the trouble eating. It's it's a it's a psychological thing. There's it's just in my life. There's just physiological reactions to it. Oh, okay. So your body's like, uh, and your brain, because of that, goes, oh my god! No, it's yes. the other way. It's happening! Yes. No, it's the other way around. Yes, but opposite. Damn yeah. it. Okay. Uh, your brain is like, holy fuck, holy fuck, and your brain is like, oh my god, what, what, what? Let's do this! Oh, 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 I can't breathe! I was once sitting, one day, of my one of my worst anxiety attacks was I was sitting in my dad's room on his bed and we were watching TV. He wasn't even in the room. It was it was just silent through the house. Nothing was happening. Maybe that's why. And then my brain went, something's coming. And I said, what? And got like fully like you cold. better run, motherfucker. Your blood runs cold. And I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, it's like. My heart's beating, I haven't moved. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, oh, what, what am I supposed to be running from? And then my brain is pushing against the side of my skull, so I can't think right mm -hmm. enough to be like, what is happening? And that's when you think left. Take that spoon you have in your hand right now <laughs> and shove it up your taint. <laughs> Your lady. Shove it into your taint. Shove it in your lady. Christian won't let me touch his taint. <laughs> Why? Because he had surgery on his ball sack once. Uh, I don't know if he ever told you guys, but he had a. No, I don't talk to Christian about his genitals. Just he... Whenever you can. That's fine. All right, Hold bye on. guys. Wait, 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 Fucking ball. Okay, so he had a hernia, <laughs> and it broke the wall between the rest of his organs and his balls. So he had a third gross ball that was just all of his innards. <laughs> so they had to go and get surgery done on it. Good surgery. And this now was a three ball free. Is what you're saying. <laughs> and now he doesn't like his balls or taint being touched. He's very uncomfortable with it. Okay, no, I feel that that's totally cool. Yeah. Uh, Cause yikes. Yeah. I don't like my balls. So like, you're trying to tell me like his lower intestines was inside of his 
testicles? Yes, yeah. yes. Like not his testicles, the but like the sack is stored in the ball sack. <laughs> Ew. So like he had wandering did he, intestines. Could he feel the shit moving through his intestines if he touched it? I don't know. He didn't go far <laughs> doing it. He said it was painful. How old was I he? I imagine. I can't remember. Oh, it was. It was last he's year. 24 now, and I've been with him for the past what three years? Four. Um. Was he underage when this happened? I don't know. He was somewhere between a minor. 10 and 17. Was he a minor? Was somewhere, somewhere between, between 10, 10 and, and 17. That's a very. But it's seven whole years. He also had jaw <laughs> surgery, but because he had a, he had a really bad wow, uh, wow. underbite. He had to have jaw surgery. And then during this jaw surgery, he, w- he was on really crazy pain meds, but he could still feel pain. And his aunt made him go and do errands for him anyways. And he tells me he remembers vividly driving the car down the street and he kept passing in and out of consciousness. And he was so scared he was going to fucking die. And I'm like, oh, your aunt's a bitch. Wow. I, yeah, fuck you, I hate my testicles because I'm weirded out at the fact that there's a part of my body that can expand and contract at will without me being in charge of it. That's, that's like, how I feel about my anxiety. That's the insides of your body. Do you know that your intestines squirm around inside of you? you know, I know, but there's nothing outside wet. that's just like, it's hot, let's relax, guys. <laughs> 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 But that, you know, I, it, it, it feels weird because, like, oh, my God, it's moving down there. Not, not, not me. That's not me. That's so you know? it cannot kill your sperm. Like, that's what it feels like when I get blood clumps okay. in your bag. Yeah, it's like, oh, just I felt something weird. just move you know, out of my body. And I'm without my control. And rushes your clit. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> I'm not shaming you. I'm not saying that. Anyways, that's the story of how Christian had a third ball sack. Bye. Okay. (laughs) So I pay for it. Jubilee. How are you? Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Y'all don't say copyrighted stuff on the podcast. Get over it. We didn't even sing the words right. Oh, look at this crap! I wasn't seriously mean, like, get over it. That sounded really harsh. Okay. And I was like, it's, fuck over no, it. it's fine. I mean, your I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be crying. I'm gonna be crying later. Oh, don't do that. Okay. <clears throat>